report, Mr. Brick. Mr. Chairman and Commissioners, uh, Ms. Stephen Spradley, our Chief Ranger with the Georgia Forestry Commission, is here this morning and has presented you with a report and is prepared to come forward and make any comments. Welcome, Mr. Bradley. How are you? Well, how are you? Doing good. <clears throat> you have before you the uh, annual report from our last fiscal year. Uh, it was a very successful year with the Forestry Commission. Uh, we were able to improve on our statistics for wildfires and wildfire size within Lowndes County. Uh, we were also able to improve our pre-suppression work uh, that we do for the public land or for private landowners uh, for a fee this last year. Uh, currently, I'm supervisor over Eccles, Lanier, and Lowndes County uh, until February 1st. Then I'll be solely uh, chief ranger for Lowndes County, uh, which is a positive thing. I'll be able to, you know, have more time in the county. Uh, you know working with the local government and the citizens. Uh, last year in Lowndes, we had 38 wildfires uh, for a total of 134 acres. That's a 3.5 acre average. Uh, that was a, a improvement on the five, five acre average from the last five years. Uh, we had nine escape yard debris fires last year and we had 14 escape prescribed burn fires last year uh, where we responded they were permitted burns we responded uh, to assist the landowners with extinguishing those fires uh, we did have eight fires that needed suppression charges last year for Lowndes County uh, that's where a landowner or someone burning did not obtain a permit or they were burning outside of the permit regulations uh, that is just a fee that we charge that just covers what the Commission has in that fire just the hours uh, personnel hours equipment hours uh, and mileage for our suppression or for our suppression equipment <clears throat> we we're also able to plow and harrow for 643 miles for landowners last year uh, 111 landowners within Lowndes County uh, we conducted 46 control burns that the Commission conducted for the private landowners at a total of 5,812 acres. And that's a 40 or 67% increase from our five year average as far as our acreage that we were able to burn for the landowners. And that again, that's a fee that we, uh, both of those are fees that we charge uh, that just covers what we have in the job. Uh, the commission does not really make any additional money on any of that. How much are those fees? It's $95 an hour for our fire plow which is the one that we, you know, put out the wildfires. It cuts a trench and $110 for our hair. Um, you know, that's the reclaim and that's the one that most people get after their initial fire break. Uh, we do have a $60 transportation fee just to go out to cover fuel and truck maintenance. Uh, the prescribed burning, we do charge for that. We can't charge by acre. It is, you know, what we have in it, it roughly ends up being 10 to $20 an acre, depending on, you know, how thick it is, how slow we have to take the burn to try to keep from harming the trees. <clears throat> uh, as far as fire or prescribed burn permits last year, we had a total of 23,509 permits within the county. Uh, 1,365 permits were acreage permits totaling 13,832 acres burned throughout the county, uh, broadcast burning uh, of woods and open land. We still have our tower operator, and we thank you for continuing to uh, assist us in funding that position. Every day, weather permitting, she is, uh, Miss Angie is up in the fire tower at 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh, before that, she's handling giving out issuing permits, uh, handling phone calls. Then at 10 o'clock, she's up in the fire tower. And that's due to the flight restrictions that our aircraft, our patrol aircraft have within Lowndes County due to uh, Moody Field having the airspace shut down for their air operations. Our patrol cannot come into the county unless there is a wildfire. Uh, so she's up in the tower, you know, looking for smoke the way they used to do it a long time ago. She's invaluable to our county unit. 
<clears throat> we have a great working relationship with the county fire department, the RFDs. Uh, last year, of our 38 fires, 32 were responded to by the RFD, your county fire department. Uh, we have multiple pieces of equipment that's out on loan to the fire department. Um, that's GFC equipment. We loan it out. Your guys, your volunteers, uh, utilize the equipment when they respond to fires and any other disasters. In forest management, our foresters assisted 92 landowners within Lowndes County uh, with their timber management, uh, you know, landowner agreements, uh, assisting them with managing their property. Uh, <clears throat> we also conducted 149 risk assessments, which is where we go out in the community, identify at-risk areas to wildfires, and conduct risk assessments for the home, advising the landowners how they can make their property more fire-wise to where ourselves and the fire department can protect them if a wildfire was to come or happen in that area to where we could defend that structure from being burned down also. And that concludes my report, if anyone has any questions. Okay. Any questions for Mr. Bradley? Mr. Bradley, again, we appreciate everything that you do for Lowndes County and the surrounding areas, and you, know, you and your agency as well, working to try to keep some of these fires under control. Certainly, yes. I would think the last half of this year, November, December, has kind of been light workload for you. It has been, yes, Good. sir. We've been staying busy. Our numbers next year are not going to be near what they were this year just because of the amount of water on the ground. Any other questions? Thanks, sir. Thank you.